I want to apologize for my emotional release yesterday. I know I'm entitled, but it is kind of like a broken record. to go home my neck it's like it needs a good massage i stayed at school to get a whole bunch of stuff graded i received the email for a meeting no details no nothing what is this in reference to because a parent is quick to blame me for some I'm like what did i do now what did i say what didn't i do whatever what what is it now so i'm being pulled in the office they want to talk to me about how to get kids i guess to do their work or whatever uh, my workload whatever because kids make the choice of not doing their assignments i'm the one that's pulled in the meeting why aren't you calling the parents why aren't you pulling a kid in 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 a meeting now i gotta use my precious planning time it's not me it's not me you give too much work too much work if i gave you something november 11 november 11 it is now december what december 8th 9th you couldn't do the assignment in a month but now it's my problem why who can't do something in 30 days and you had two weeks off for thanksgiving but it's my problem i'm the one being pulled in a meeting it's not me it's the student Sorry about that camera, I dumb on my phone. So I'm, I'm the one in trouble. Not that it's trouble, it could be a simple discussion, but my little bit of time that I have is, I feel like it's so valuable and precious on my planning period. That's why I'm still here at school, grading papers, trying to submit, submit grades. Now you want to take away my time for choices that the student is not making. Or is this a ruse to get me to lower my standards? Who cannot finish something in 30 days? That, that's the point. They want to say it's too much work. It's too much work. They're just not doing it. And of course you don't do it. Yes, it will add up. So I'm supposed to stop doing what I'm doing until you catch up? No, 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 no. You're out for several days on vacation, traveling in different countries. You think you don't have any work to do when you get back? Does that make it make sense? Can you make it make sense? And I know I probably sound like a broken record. Yeah, I, I know I am. But these are things that keep happening. So now I'm probably not going to get home until 930 at night. But I work like a dog but I'm being pulled in the office. But kids don't want, to do, don't, don't want to do work at home. I give them time at school. I don't know what they're doing. And we used to have a program we, where we can monitor what they're doing on a computer. Who has time to be running around to 30 different Chromebooks to see what they're doing, to turn the Chromebooks on? Who got time to do that? Nobody? Baby. Let me take my butt home because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It's, it's, uh, whew. Let me tell you, teaching is not for the weak because not just the students. It's, you know, politics, the parents, the attitudes, the mood swings, the apathy, no empathy. <laughs> Working before school, during school, after school, nonstop. But I'm in trouble. It's my fault. It don't make no sense. So I went back and looked at some of the assignments. November 11, still zeros. Middle, uh, uh, beginning of November. I mean, all this stuff. You you had time, but they they can make time for for uh, fighting and gossip and 
ticking and talking Instacart and all those things. But have them set aside time to catch up on all their assignments or have a parent sit their tail down. Sit your tail down and, and this is what you're doing. No, no, it, it, it's my fault. It's the teacher's fault. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Let me go home. I probably need me an ad adult soda. I don't even have adult soda. Mm. All right, let me go home. That was my rant for the day. <laughs> that, that was my rant for the day. I'm entitled. It, it's like, shoot, my neck all sore. Been in my head down, grating, grating stuff, trying to get feedback. Simple thing. Restate the question in your response. Restate the question. Use part of the question in your response. I don't know why that's that. That's a hard concept. Now, we've done this. Let me see. About five. I've given out about five sheets. As we read the chapters, you get a sheet. By the time you get to the fifth sheet, you should be an expert on restating the question. Why on the sixth sheet? Nothing. You either rushing somebody else doing it I, I I don't know okay tomorrow's a new day tomorrow's a new day that's a basis your girl joy back with another finger how you doing well I think I want to apologize for my emotional release yesterday I know I'm entitled, but it is kind of like a broken record. But when I get emotional, I have to learn not to pick up the camera. But I will tell you this, after I get it out, I feel better. Mm -hmm. It's like medicine, honey. You need to try it. Uh-huh. So I came into the classroom this morning and the cleaning lady, she must have got annoyed. I love her though. Um, so one of my chairs were over here instead of over here. So knowing me, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna turn these lemons into lemonade. Now I'm about to rearrange furniture. Sometimes the group seating is nice, but it leads to a lot of talking. So I've noticed some teachers, they'll change their room into group and then you know, a couple of days or a couple of weeks later, then it's not in group. I mean, it's something that you really have to be, uh, you have to have a strong management. I, I don't know. But if you're facing somebody, sitting next to somebody, I think it's inevitable. <laughs> you're going to be chit-chatting. And honestly, I don't mind a little chit-chatting if you're doing your work. And you know, you die, you know, yelling and stuff. I really don't mind. Cause sometimes if it's quiet, child, I'm making my nerves bad. Like if I don't have my background music playing, mm -mm. that's, that's like, that quiet is crippling in a classroom. Mm -mm. And then I have some classes that are just, whoo, I need all my patience, all. Of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm still trying to sell my sofa. Um, a lot of stuff I wouldn't mind saving for Bobby, but then that means I have to keep it for a couple of years. Who's doing that? Not me. And I'm taking these chairs home. I'm taking these back home. Because the kids really don't appreciate, you know, nice, nice things. So those, I, I really love those chairs. So I'm going to take my cow chairs back home. And I'm going to load them up in my car. And then I'm going to bring two of my balls in that will go with this table that I moved over here. So I'm about to move some stuff around, about to move a bookcase, but the bookcase is heavy, so I have to unload the bookcase, move it around, and just try different seating. I know the kid's gonna come in. Uh, Miss Basil, you changed it again? Yes, I did. Keep you on your toes. Boop. All right, so I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. To all my four worldwide subscribers who be watching my videos who haven't had enough of me yet. Thank you. <laughs> and Christmas is the most stressful time of the year. And I feel like I'm back to where I started, stressed the heck out. Trying to gifts and stuff. It makes my nerves bad. Ooh. <laughs> so... Let me know. Do you get stressed out around, you know, the holiday times? I don't buy more than I can afford, but 
it is a sacrifice and this year I really do, do not have it. But you know, I still wanna have something for the kids. Oh, whew, it'll work out. It always does. I always figure out how to pull a rabbit out of a hat amazingly. I really do. So with that said, let me get to this room. I wanted to have a little me time in here since I was here to almost nine something. <sighs> right, because I sat in my car for a minute get my nerves right before I took that energy home but I feel better I do letting it out make me feel better so sorry if I feel like a broken record you don't gotta listen to it but I do appreciate you listening and with your little feedback I mean at this point this is my career this is what I do right now so it's not like I'm gonna pick up and and, and go no what else am I gonna do I, I do you, I don't want to go back to the office. I never want to say never, but I was miserable, miserable working in the office. And I felt like I wasn't making a difference. Uh, sometimes I still feel like I'm not making a difference, but you know, that odd little hug or the little girls who like to hug me and look at my little outfits. Sixth grade, I teach seven and eight. So all little sixth graders, they're so cute. <laughs> they are so cute. And so they're in a different hall, but if I'm on duty, um, they see me and they look and I wave to all of them and they, some give me a hug and stuff. They're so cute. <laughs> you know, I like to play dress up and stuff for them. So I'm not fancy today, but let me see if I can show you this outfit. I have my Crocs on, but I, I do have, I have my Crocs on, but I do have my heels. Did I tell y'all about these glasses? I'm probably a little dark. Did I tell y'all about these glasses? I don't know if I did, y'all. Pretend like I did. But these are um, my new glasses. So when I went to get the glasses, I picked out shades because I wanted a thicker frame. So I do have two other pair, but baby, so I got distance on the top. It's two prescriptions. I got distance on the top and reading on the bottom. And sometimes I feel myself doing this. But I feel as I get older, it seems like recently, I'll be needing these glasses, child. Kids be trying to show me stuff. I be like, hold on, let me, let me get my glass. I was like, oh, okay, now I see it. I'm like, ooh, I never had that problem before. Really, usually I have my little glasses. I could wear them or I could toss them to the side. It really, it really didn't matter. Okay, so I don't know what I do. I don't have my heels on, I do have them. So I got my little Crocs on while I was driving. But then I was like, the kids probably like, like my little Crocs. So that's my little outfit today. And I thought about buttoning just this one up, right? And so I don't know. And I found this tie, it was, as I'm cleaning out my closets and trying to get rid of clothes and stuff, I did find this tie. I was like, oh, I forgot I had that tie. I was buried somewhere. And this is a little crooked. So I may even show the kids today how to tie a tie. Although this one is messed up. I did mess this one up, but I wasn't taking it off this morning. So if I have time, maybe I'll demonstrate how to tie a tie. <laughs> oh, have a question for you. So I want you guys to come up with my little question that I hold as the kids are coming in and they have to answer the question um, before they are allowed in. So it's something I want them to think about. So this one, you know, we have a social contract, how you want to be treated, how you want others to treat you. And you know, so they came up with a whole bunch of lists. So each class create their own social contract. So I said, if there's one thing you can change, what would that be and why? you know, or something that we can focus more on. And so that was our question yesterday. For another class I did, uh, what do you want most for Christmas? And a lot of the kids amazingly said they have everything. They spend time with their family, stuff like that. So can you help me come up with the next question that I can share with the students as they're coming in the room? So leave it in the comment section below, something that will make them think but make sure it's something that they can really think about and it's something that's meaningful, something that, you know, they probably haven't, you know, thought of in a minute. That will be awesome. So you're gonna leave that in the comment section below and let me know how you feel about 
you know, the holiday time, Thanksgiving or Christmas, but it's about, you know, at the end of the day, people want little presents. I mean, I, I don't. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't. I don't want anything from the kids. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, I don't be getting nothing anyway. <laughs> so I don't expect anything. But I still, you know, want to do something for them. Ugh. With that said, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. <laughs> so I can start moving and stuff. All right. So give this video a thumbs up or not. So just go back. Go, 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 go back. Give the video a thumbs up. And make sure you share the video. That'll be greatly appreciated. And hit the post notification so you know next time I upload a video, honey. Because, you know, you know, it can come and it may not come. All right. Bye.